The NBA is not world wrestling entertainment. The world's strongest man! Seemingly rigged nonsense like what took place in the Mile High City last night, with all due respect to the Denver Nuggets, simply isn't going to fly. I must admit, I can't explain. We're about to lose a lot of fans because of what happened to the Raptors last night, and not just fans north of the border in Toronto. And by the way, this isn't some guy complaining about the Raptors losing. It's not about that whatsoever. It's about the integrity and the fairness of the game being challenged. Scott Foster shocked both the NBA as well as his two officiating crew partners who became memes in the process. Let's look at why Foster's actions were quite frankly blasphemous and the reason blatant rigging like this is becoming an NBA commonplace. This is the pathetic truth destroying the NBA. Adam Silver, the jig is up. First, splash subscribe and leave a thumbs up to support this platform. Refs should never be the center of attention, especially when it comes to having an impact on the plays in the last few seconds of a game. Scotty Barnes stays in his place, looks fairly calm based off the footage and memed reactions from the other officials, seems to say, oh, which maybe at the very least could have garnered a technical but no ref would award another team a point in such a close game down the stretch, right? This bitch-ass white boy had other plans, as Scotty F's not merely going to put the team on his back with one tech, he's going to straight up toss my boy Scotty B. Barnes just walks off unaggressively, but we're not done there, as the reasoning for Barnes getting tossed, according to Foster, was, quote, he used verbiage that which directly questioned the integrity of the crew, end quote. Whatever that means, it's sketchy, not an unfamiliar theme for Mr. Foster. This man hasn't been investigated since all the way back in 2007, when an ESPN report stated, Another theory is connected to fellow official Scott Foster, who Donahue mentioned multiple times was a great friend of his. Phone records indicate they spoke frequently before and after and sometimes at halftime of games, potentially tying Foster into the mix. He was found to be clean when he was initially investigated. If you don't know, Tim Donahue was a ref who got banned for rigging games blatantly. But I think the reason for keeping Scott around after those investigations was clearly to maintain some type of control over the outcome of games. At least it looks that way. That's precisely what we can't have, of course. Another thing giving the NBA League office way too much power over the outcome of games is the fact that punishment for a ref's bad decisions isn't made public. In other words, that means there's no punishment for these officials when they make mistakes or just go out of line. But Adam Silver thinks his audience is stupid, so the refs aren't held to the same standards as the players. As I said, the jig is up. This is far from the only problem with the NBA, of course, but on this topic of sketchy officiating, the final two-minute report is an absolute garbage thing and just makes things more frustrating overall. Revealing the mistakes of what happened in the final two minutes of an outcome that's already been decided doesn't bring new fans in. It pushes them away and frustrates them. I can't stress enough the punishment of refs, as Adam Silver announced last month, was private, needs to be made public because we can't have this nonsense in a few weeks come the playoffs. But what can be done about refs controlling games? Two commenter shoutouts from my last upload and this one next time.